everybody, welcome back to another episode of Infiltration. So the last episode, we managed to pick up a Thunderbolt, which is in the bays right now, being repaired. Doesn't have any weapons or anything put on it yet, but um, we need to get a Clan XL engine. But we said yesterday that today we were going to go ahead and take a, a Three Skull mission against Clan Wolf, which we're going to do. We're going to have a quick look in the barracks first, just to see if there's any pod uh, skills we can raise up. So it looks like we can get our piloting up a little bit here. Give us some maximum sprint. That'll probably help out. So let's increase our piloting slightly. And then uh, Hellion. Still don't have enough here. Uh, Gundal. Okay, we could go... Yeah, let's go called shot bonus and confirm this. I want to start seeing if we can pull some mechs apart. Alright, we're still gaining uh, points for him. And Dallas is fine. Now let's have a look at Mastodon. We had him in the battle last time. He picked up a couple thousand XP, but still not enough to do anything. And he's just sitting there. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. Um, it's a destroy base against clans at three skulls. We could be facing two lances plus turrets at the beginning. Um, I'm expecting for sure one lance of reinforcements. But we're going to go full salvage on this guy. Going to drop with our standard lance as we've been playing it. And Hellion, Gundal, and Mastodon. And let's get this job done, guys. Command interface initiated. Okay, here we go. I saw a little note here, too, when we were coming in. So it looks like one lance plus a lance at the base. Most likely reinforcements. It said stealth armor cannot be multi-targeted. That's very interesting. It's something I didn't know keep my eye open for that. All right, now two guys down here, two guys up here. Uh, I think we take the hill like we always do. I have no idea how fast these guys are coming up. Let's let's get ourselves into some defensive positions as we move up. It's all going to come down to how nasty those friggin' turrets are back there. If they're direct fire, perfect. If they're indirect, we could be in a lot of trouble. Get in the trees, please. We've got to make sure our missile mechs are up at the top here. Uh, I don't want to bunch up, so I'm going to move over here. We're already getting kind of bunchy up here already. How might I help? I understand. Okay. And then let's get the archer. Sorry. The Apollo over here. Base garrison, garrison and wolf support lance. So maybe it is two lances. Orders. It could be two lances plus freaking turrets. Wouldn't that just be enjoyable? On my way. I've got something. Griffin, Adder, Pegasus, a Joust. Yeah, it is turrets and another Adder. Yeah, right now I think the Hell Spawn is probably our weak link. Get a Thunderbolt in there. Most likely he'll uh, um, Duck will take over with the Apollo, and we'll give uh, Dallas the Thunderbolt. Most likely. Commander? I don't know. She seems to be doing pretty good in this mech, so maybe not. All right. Well, let's start this off. All right, what's our best chance to hit here? 6, 16. 
pretty much all the same with the exception of the griffin. We can probably do the most damage to the joust. So let's take that. Yeah. It'll take a while to get up here. I got it. Don't think. Don't shoot. Just run. See, that's the problem I'm having. You need to be doing all of the above. That puts you in direct line of sight of the turrets. Ha, I got turret syndrome. Ha ha ha. Uh. Let's find out what he's got. Oh, look at that chance to hit. That's insane. Fire it all. Beautiful. See ya. Who cares what he had? Damaged all the buildings too. Look at that. Damn man, this Hades. I think those, uh, the plus four at extreme range with those tracker sensors I think is just a little bit much. Like that should never, with me sprinting up the hill, seeing that for the first time, that should never have been a 99% chance to hit. But, you know, I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth. I mean, maybe I should. Because if it's a liability, why the hell would I want it? Okay, come on, Adders, just hanging out. Okay. Yeah, let's switch these around. Gonna go with standard on this guy. Fire on him. I don't know if that joust, if those uh, are all machine guns, or if those are AP Gauss rifles. If they're AP Gauss rifles, that's bad. AP standing for armor piercing, of course. If he's going to attack anybody, you should attack the Hades. Oh, there's a Shadowhawk. Oh, he's got a... So they could do have a support lance. Two lances before. Okay. That's another mech back there. I thought there was a turret for a second there, but it's not. Grand Summoner. Ooh! Pieces. Okay, we better sweep this first lance aside real fast here. All right, Gundal. Not give them any direct fire. Let's fire on this guy. Alright, a little bit of damage. We need to get direct fire on these guys. So we should be able to sweep the joust and the adder down here out of the way, I think, next turn. Because we'll be able to crest the hill. And then we can sweep this way. Sweep to the left, using this ridge, taking out whoever's over here. If these guys are going to stay down here, I don't care. Let them stay there. Okay, another urban, that's an urban mech. Where was that, though? Oh, those are our guys. Never mind. Hooray, four points. Hey, man, four points is four points, you know what I'm saying? Who used to say that, used to say that about the SRM the SRM uh, twos when people would fire S the SRM twos off? Hey man, eight points is eight points. 
Two points is two points, man. We'll take it. Yeah, that's right. The SRM2s were two damage each. LRMs were one damage each. Uh, the old tabletop game, I'm thinking. Two points is two points, man. He's got enhanced imaging back there. Okay, I shouldn't close with the adder. That vehicle's like in a position where I just can't quite I mean, we could just target this guy and move down the hill a little bit. How far can we move? Actually, let's just move over here. A little worse chance to hit now. Yeah. I mean, that's fine. Let's just take it on this guy. Yeah, not bad. Okay, he doesn't want to engage. Your job is the vehicle, buddy. Beautiful, look at that. See the vehicle for nothing else. Let's see if we can finish him up. Hammer him hard. That's all LMGs. That's bad. No good damage though. Maybe the bushwhacker can finish it off. What do we got over here? Standard turret chassis. We haven't been hit by uh, long range. So, there's another uh, Shadowhawk. Arctic Cheetah. So they got one more guy back there somewhere. That's a back shot. Okay, Adder's going to give you his back. Take it. We need this guy swept aside before this turn ends. Uh, if we can't get that, let's shut him down. So we're going to use the uh, rocket launchers on this one. We're going to go full Warlord. Max it out and firing. Hundred and nineteen heat. Critical hit. Just come in. Okay, can we get Question is now do we go up to the other turret? It's not really doing anything right now. Okay, this is going to be a multi. And B's taking the alarms. Oof, really, eh? Yeah, that's fine. We're going to uh, tag barrage the guy in front of us, so... I got him. That should be a lot. Yeah, let's look at the damage on that. Beautiful. Thank you for the note on that, people. Apologize, I can't remember who it was that said that uh, those tag barrages do ex excellent damage against vehicles, so... I'm going to make sure I do use that as much as I can. Okay, our crab should be able to finish up the adder, I hope. 
then that will be the two vehicles or the two units that I want to remove this turn. We still got our rack, which I think could go after that Shadowhawk if we can get it up here. I'm listening. You know what you need to do, girl. Uh, let's not get where the turret can see you, though. Let's get into here. I know we're bunching up, but... That's fine. If we can claim one extra guy this turn, I'll be happy. So we're going to go after this guy. We're going to crank it to four, I think. And then leave the tag barrage off. I want to save that for the buildings in this mech up here. So let's fire on this guy. Not bad. I should have wound that rack all the way up, but no big deal. I still don't know if that would have been enough to kill. Uh, okay, Mastodon. Let's get up here. Gonna leave this off. And fire the rest. Beautiful. That's a kill. I know I'm destroying a lot of clan gear by doing this, but the thing is, is if I give these guys too much room, that's when they start piling on the damage. I'm here. I would rather win the match and uh, take very little damage as opposed to taking damage and win it with and getting good stuff. You tag barrage off. We want to save it for buildings and fire. Aye. Yeah, I still think the ATM build on the, uh, of the Apollo is a little better. Someone using cluster ammo back there. Screw you. Good luck hitting me. Nekokagi. Just stand back there and do nothing. Yeah, throw some throw some munitions up in there, we don't mind. Okay, now they still have got another mech back there that I haven't seen. What was that? Okay, Bunker Buster. Standard turret. Standard turret. Uh, 192. Sure, let's blast this guy. Should be more than enough. Whoa, really? Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Not enough. Oh man. Okay. Can we get a flank attack on that guy up there? No, not really. But we got some speed, so let's get up here. Maybe we can pull this Shadow Hawk out of the battle. It's not bad chances to hit for this guy. However, both streaks decided they're not gonna fire. It's kinda sucky. Okay, let's do this. Okay, uh, B's taking those. Oh, A's out of range, huh? Okay, well, we'll leave it there. 
Hey, yep. Copy that, Commander. Ooh, okay, not quite enough. Reporting critical hit. All right. This guy's got to go. 404 armor, huh? How much you got in the turret? Oh, not bad. Commander. Oops. Okay, we're going to leave A out of the equation here. There we go. So two to the Shadowhawk and the rest of the turret and firing. He's panicked. He still, hasn't, still doesn't want to bail out though. Solid connection on that one. Beautiful. Beautiful. Both turrets and ranges. Another adder back there. Okay. So the Grand Summoner is what we want. Yeah, thanks for showing up, buddy. It's the Learn 15 version. Right here. Mm -hmm. Let's not say we did. Let's see. If we can do this. Come on. on the trigger. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see ya. Okay, one hit. Ah, beautiful. Turret destroyed. Rack one up for mama. <laughs> More than one for you, girl. You've been wrecking them up all all along. And I like the fact that she says rack one up too. Okay, who do we have left now? We've got Goofy left, Mastodon. Yep. Okay, let's not... If we can't get the... Oh, we can get the turret in direct fire. Beautiful. Let's do that. Let's finish up this turret too if we can. I'm on it. Beautiful. Target destroyed. That's a lot of command bunker criticals. Alright. Slowly clearing the path here. I want to try and get uh, Goofy as close to that Grand Summoner as we can to get those rockets on him. Maybe we could split target the uh, Grand Summoner and the uh, the uh, Shadowhawk on the ground. Now I was I was uh, pointed out too that I didn't take the uh, enhanced imaging um, systems as well. I, c I cannot remember for the life of me why I didn't take them. There's something about immediate upgrades and I can't, I, I always look for the immediate. We need to get you up as far as possible, buddy. Have no doubt okay, this up. is a multi. We're going to shoot on you. And this guy. That's pretty darn good chances to hit on B. And everything else to A because I want to get rid of them. So let's fire. Okay. Look at that. Yeah. 
Yeah, he destroyed his own supercharger. Beautiful. Sorry, right, put him under fire, guys. Stress him out a little bit if you can. Okay. That turret at the back corner can't see us here at all. Not worried about him. Now, uh, what I do want to do, though, is I want to get over here, give us a sidey shot, because I want to take a shot at uh, this guy. See if we can take this leg. Oh, those look really juicy. There goes the leg and the torso. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Have a seat. I think he was probably trapped on the building, which is why he really didn't do anything. Okay, who's next? Uh, what's this guy? Adder. Arctic Cheetah. Griffin 2N. I mean, we could... Nah, I don't know. Let's just engage. Let's engage these guys. Look at the chance to hit on this guy. I'm gonna leave this on. Now this thing... I can't remember now if it drops... It's like ground sensors, right? He runs over them. <laughs> Ready for order. Absolute badass. Let's finish him up. See ya. Roger. Target neutralized. I'm listening. Now you guys don't fight fair. You're right. We don't. And that's why you're dead and we're not. Wait, did I say that in reverse? That's why we're dead and you're not? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I meant to say. <laughs> it's the barrage. See if we can take out all the buildings at once. Ah, fire. Look at that. <laughs> that guy's like shut down. <laughs> that's how you talk. That's how you destroy a base, guys. That's how it's done. It's so enjoyable to watch that. All right, let's shut this turkey down over here let's clean this up and go home people all right fire on this guy yeah I know yeah you didn't need you didn't need all that many of them anyway did you all right let's support goofy let's finish up this guy Firing everything. We'll leave the barrage off, though. That Incendiary ammo explosion. It's hanging in there, though. It's not going anywhere anytime soon. Oh, we still got to kill one building, looks like. I wonder if they will get reinforcements. This uh, Shadowhawk down here has decided to end of the battle. Or sorry, Griffin. Would you mind uh, removing him for me? Ah. Uh, not bad. He took half damage, so...
Yeah, so we're definitely going to have to go up to three skulls or more now. With with seven guys on the field like this, and now we're going to we got, we have the uh, the thunderbolt. We're going to definitely be going up onto uh, three and a half, maybe four skull missions, depending. Love how these guys get brave. The more the more enemy the more enemies that die, the braver they get. Yeah, thanks for showing up, guys. Beautiful. Wait, not beautiful. That's the wrong guy. Oh, you killed the summoner? Hopefully there's more than one part left. Okay, we can get a side attack on this guy, so we're going to take it. And here it comes. Got it. Soften him up a little bit. Scored a critical hit. Ooh, I can see that back turret. I didn't think we could see the turret. I guess maybe with the, with the buildings gone, we can see it now. He's got two streak LRM-20s. Wouldn't that be nice? There's that last building gone. Yeah, I think those offboard art artillery tags are uh, a bit much. It's too bad you couldn't tag and then have it wait for a turn before it attacks. That would kind of make it a little fairer, I think. I'm there. Let's use it on this guy. I thought we were going to get reinforcements, but apparently not. Usually they come, I think, once you destroy the buildings. Ooh. Beautiful. Don't you run away. Right here. Mm -hmm. Make me chase your ass down. Make me run your ass down. Make me gun your ass down. Confirmed. Let's see if we can take his head off. Eh, fire. Oh, he bailed. Even better. Even better. Oh, yeah. This is your guy over here. Can you... Oh, we can get a side attack in there. Of course we can. Of course we can. Let's see if we can finish him up. Oh, I don't know. It's a bit much, but I want him gone. Kill confirmed, Commander. Oh. Oh, uh, we didn't get to kill the support lance. Damn it. All right, contract payment increased by 35%. We never did get that support lance. Damn it. Oh, well. Okay, what do we want here? Two parts for a Grand Summoner. Definitely going to take those. Uh, let's see what else we got down here. ER Larges. Now we do have... Hmm, 
I don't know. Clan LRM 10s, LRM Clan LRM 15, medium heavy laser, one ton, two slots, 30 heat, 360 range though for 40 damage. That's not bad, but you got to be in close for that. And I'm thinking that a lot of our oh streak LRM 20, yes please. Uh, I'm thinking that a lot of our builds are going to be range builds now. So 10% range, all brackets. Clan endo steel is another thing we need. Enhanced imaging. Plus two initiative when active. Plus two maximum evasion pips when active. Increases called shot modifier. Plus one accuracy when active. Let's grab one of those. Although I do want this exchanger. Well, let's roll the dice and see if we get the exchanger. I don't I know we won't get it, but <sighs> Alright, let's just see what we get. Okay, adder part, griffin part, shadow hawk part. Large pulse clan, that's not bad. Endosteel clan, beautiful. Two more cores, excellent. Guardian ECM. Eh, some ammo. Meh. Actually that's not too bad, I guess. It could have been a lot worse. Okay. Nothing for repairs. Beautiful. That's beautiful. Okay, uh, now do we have... We got four days to wait for our pilots to be back. Um, so let's put the Thunderbolt to the top. And let's get our guys back. Because I think what we'll do is we'll pull off one of those two skulls. Those upgrades you asked for like I said we would. Now what was that upgrade? Oh yeah, improved power because we want to get more of these guys and more repair and refit stuff going eventually. Um, what do we got? 2.1? Plus 3 morale, plus 1 tech points for the arcade. 2 morale, 1 tech point. That's 10 days though. 2 and 1 for 10 days. Two morale. We got the zero G pool. That's all that matters. Wait, you know what? Let's go this route. Let's spend the 423, 3,020 days for the morale and tech points. Roger that, Commander. I'll get the crew moving. Let's get that going. Definitely going to need that. Okay. Um, so let's have a look at uh, Mastodon down here. Uh, almost enough to get up there. I think we'll hold off. Minus 5 heat generation. We're on a cold planet, so we don't really need that right now. So let's just hold off. Um, Alright, going to the command center. So let's take a uh, cheap-ass mission against the clans here. Well, man of the people, that's the escort mission. Flushing them out. Oh, I think we should take this one. It's going to make this episode a long one, but it just, I'm kind of, I kind of want to take it. But you know what? Insurgent sell by local pirates out in the open. I was hoping that there would be another clan uh, on this planet, but they're not. So, I mean, we could take this one, take four guys down and just do it real quick. Uh, sure. Full salvage. And who are we going to take? Let's leave. I kind of want to take the bushwhacker. Let's let Duck rest today. We're gonna take we're gonna take down a star. So Hellion is definitely gonna come. Lance two, of course. Um, and 
Mastodon definitely needs the XP. So let's bring him. All right, let's do this. All right, looks like there might be three lances. What does that look like to you? Pretty wide. Could be a rifle. No, I don't know. Let's find out. So we got a lance left, lance right. And some supporting units. Uh, I wanted to do this. Got any sensor locks? Not yet. So we're going to move to the right. Right? Yeah, right. We're going to move to the right and we're going to take on the guys over here. Because the left guy, the guys on the left will have a harder chance to have a harder chance to engage us. But if we go this way, then this other lance can come up to the hill and fire down on us. Okay, I brought Goofy because I want to hope, hopefully, shut down the main mech. Keep your eyes peeled, Commander. This looks like an ideal place for an ambush. Thank you, Captain. Obvious. On my way. Double time. All right, let's switch out the thunder right now. I want to see if we can use that on the main guy as well. UAV ping. Okay, cool. Remember to use that too. All right, let's get the rack attack up here. Okay, here we go. Right here. Mm -hmm. See if we can get some eyes on. I got it. Don't think. Don't Looks like we can. Oh, I want you to shred is what I want you to do. Okay, we've got a Drillson. Missile, ballistic energy. Chikata. Vedette. Griffin. Drillson it is. Let's drill this sun into the ground, eh? Um, let's do this. A and B. And B will take the tag barrage. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. That's awesome. Yeah, they got to limit those. I know they, they limit those like tag barrages and tag arrow to one per vehicle. But that's really... That should be a single shot only. It should not be rechargeable. You know, firing it off more than one time per uh, per fight is just a little bit much. All right, see ya. Jeez, maybe I should just brought two guys. Now, I know you can't use the tag barrages to target air units directly, but I got but we learned from the last episode that if they're in the area of fire in the AoE effect, they will get destroyed. So we can target the ground near them and hopefully uh explode choppers that way too. Damn it, we're taking damage. How are you unsettled by that? Yeah. No shooting, just 
All right, we don't need to go on that side now. What do we got here? Fire starter. Now that's the... Improved Thunder, right? I'm going to play around with the Thunder on this guy just to see how it works. Another chopper. Come on, buddy. Do your best. I think I'm thinking back now. I think that guy, the main guy, was probably a centurion or something. I'm trying to think what had wide shoulders like that. Oof. Centurion's the only mech that I can really think of that's got like those really wide shoulder at things. Things. You know what I mean. You know what I'm saying? Those things on the shoulders, the thingies. Okay, we're leaving these off because we're saving them for the main guy. Actually, you know what? Let's, uh... Let's, uh... Do this. Like that. How are you taking heavy hits? Did we destroy that guy? We did. Beautiful. Yes, Commander. Beautiful. That makes killing choppers a hell of a lot easier, eh? Alright, let's see if we can get the sixes on this guy. Come on. Yeah, a little better on the Griffin. But he's going to die next turn. Let's see if we can hit this guy. Yeah, a little bit of damage. She should be close enough to use the barrage. Powered multi-terrain vehicle. Meh. Taking heavy fire. Wow, drop a minefield on that guy. Hopefully they get um get the uh oh. hopefully they get the um combat in this working so that if you target an area that has a minefield with an AoE weapon, it takes out the minefields. Because if you put if you put an artillery barrage right down in that minefield, it should take remove it from the the uh, map board. But considering the mines are sitting on the surface, right? Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. I don't know. This is my two cents anyway. I'm sure if they've uh, devised a way of targeting a uh, square with a minefield that they can devise a way to uh, um, remove that same minefield. Alright, we're going to lay some more mines on this guy just to see how this does. Now hopefully when this guy moves it'll do a stink ton of damage to his legs. Now you still got like four more turns of firing minefields, dude. Stop trying to steal my kills. Come on. You can do it. Because, yeah, I mean, the minefields are are kind of cool, but if you're fighting enemies with, like, that are laying minefields everywhere, like, you, there should be a way to remove them. 
even by targeting the ground, let's say, doing an X amount of damage, should be able to at least remove them. Especially if you're using, like lasers, I can see maybe not doing it. But if you have ballistic weapons that are exploding the ground, there should be a chance to reduce the minefield strength or to wipe it out completely. All right. Uh, okay, you still got your barrage. So let's get up here. Target the ground right here with the barrage. Beautiful. Makes things a lot easier, eh? Yeah, on his behalf, probably. That's ridiculously accurate, though. Yes, Commander. Uh... Still haven't seen the boss yet. Roger. Full speed. Full speed. Griffin target. Firing. Firing. Kill confirmed. Commit. Beautiful. Although now that I said about removing the minefield, like if you did it with missiles and stuff like that, I'm sure these guys that uh, drop in with you will end up removing your minefield for you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks for destroying my own minefield, guys. Here you go. Sure, why not? I look like the uh, supporting AI now. See what I mean? Don't know if that fire starter is moving. On account of you standing in a minefield. That would be good to note though, because if you could uh, lay down enough mines, that would make a mech not move. You could at least have him stand there while you shoot him. So for instance, that rifleman that we were fighting, the rifleman 2C, the 90 tonner, if we could have laid down tons of minefields around him and he stopped moving, it may have made, may have made our uh, combat a lot easier. Let's see if we can find this guy. Huh. I wonder where he is. I wonder where he is. Oh, there you are. Clint. Oh, wonderful. Oh! It's the Clint Eastwood, guys! Now, he should have taken a lot of damage on his legs. 21. Okay, not bad. Eh, not bad, I guess. You want to shoot at my buddy? Yeah, we're going to do this. Our primary target is taking damage. I know I shouldn't be messing around with this guy. I'm kind of counting on his rack to jam, though. Okay, Goofy, I need you over here. Uh Okay, A and B. B is going to take obviously the thunder and everything else to A. Copy that. K 
Okay, remote sensor is on that guy now. And you are standing in a minefield. I'm receiving you. Yeah, can you just uh, get rid of this guy for me, please? You know which guy. The guy standing right there in front of you. This guy right here. See ya! Oh, he's still standing. Awaiting order. How far can you go? Not far enough. Still not far enough. <sighs> Woefully out of position. Do I spend my turn? I think so. I understand. Blow on this guy and knock him over, please. Yes, Commander. Ah, not quite. Oh, now you move up. Just hit him once, man. That's all you gotta do. Knock his ass over. Okay. Let's see if we can get this leg. Oh. She goes on 15. <sighs> I got 65 tons. Hellion's only got 50. Stand in front of her. Take the shots. Everybody else goes after that guy. Although he is in a minefield. If he moves first... Maybe the legs will do... I don't know. The legs are probably still really good on this guy. Yeah, he's going to take a little damage. Okay, he's not firing the rack. Maybe it's jammed? I don't know. I need you up here, Goofy. i got to get some heat on this guy. Got to spit some heat, you know what I'm saying? Yep. Can you give me a multi, please? Nice, there's the knockdown. A little more minefield over there. No, that's fine. That is just fine. It's the kind of thing we want. Um, let's back up over here. It's the kind of thing we want. Get that minefield going. Can you get up on this guy? Shred him. Might as well go all out, because why not? Confirmed. Still going. Nope, he's not. <laughs> why do I open my mouth? Maybe it's because I know I'll be wrong and he'll die. I don't know. Just making shit up now. Uh, how far can you get up, Goofy? Okay, uh, let's get up to here. Drop your ATM on him. Gonna engage these. Rocket barrage, or the barrage is back next turn. Let's keep the pressure on this guy. Okay, we're going to go after the leg. Going to go after the leg. And firing. Not quite enough, damn it. 
Uh, hopefully Infiltrator goes before that guy next turn. Maybe we can claim his leg. I don't want that rack firing again. You know we're taking Clint Eastwood parts from this. I'm pretty sure I kept that mech part. Oh shit, I go on 19. He goes, of course he goes on 22, because why not? Uh, you know what it is, is we're missing the, uh, the, uh, targeting computer. Are you shooting or are you just standing there? Oh, he's standing there. He's got 14 left. Let's not go too much with the rack. I don't want to destroy him by accident. Okay, there's the leg. He's got a rack 20. Okay, get behind the rock. Affirmative. Just in case. Oh shoot, I shouldn't move too close, I guess. Well, still pretty good chances to hit. Uh, how much armor does he have here? 100 and something. Oh. Engaging target. I have no idea what the hell we hit. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Oh, okay, we got a lot of leg hits there. Waiting for orders. This guy's all yours. Finish him. That guy's in enough of a minefield over there. Yes, Commander. Uh. Get up here. All right. Switch this to standard. Is he at a range? I guess he's at a range. Doesn't seem like he should be at a range though. Yes, Commander. Don't have a line of sight. Oh, we do. All right, Goofy. It's all yours, buddy. All right, let's leave these guys off because they would just shred him. He's got 14 left here. We got a few chances to hit it. Let's do it. Going after the leg. There we go. Beautiful. There it is, folks. Okay, fingers crossed that I kept that Clint Eastwood part. I may have sold it. I really hope I didn't, but I may have. Okay, we got two of them. Taking them both. Uh, and what else? ERPPC Large Pulse Plus? Uh, I don't know. Mind Dispensers. As far as a salvo of 20 unguided rockets. Two mines per projectile, six mine foot field radius. Four mine damage. But they're single shot at one and a half tons each though. Are you kidding me? Is that a clan rotary 20? I know that Clint Eastwood technically has that. But I didn't realize it was a clan rack 20. Oh, breaching shot fire control system. It's a single weapon though. Nor is, eh, I don't know. Proto heatsink kit, proto double heatsink. Man, 
Weapon mount. Are you kidding me? Rack. Well, let's hope we get rack ammo. We'll see how it goes. Let's just confirm this. Alright, two Griffin parts. AC5, PPC, Clan Endo Steel, which is nice. LRM double. Nah. Well, we got some stuff to sell anyway. Yeah, I really hope I didn't sell that part. I may have thought to myself, oh, I'll never encounter another one of those again. Uh, we'll find out in a second here. 26,000. That's not bad. Okay, mech bay. Storage. Medium mechs. Two or three Clint Eastwood parts. Yeah, I sold the other part. Damn it. Oh, wait. It says ready. Wait. Can I use a regular Clint part? What do you know? I can. 383,000 to do it, though. I don't see how we can not do it. <laughs> it's a Clint Eastwood mech. Let's confirm that. Do you feel lucky? Do ya? Let's find out. It's 40 tons, but I, th I don't think we can not put this thing together to try it out. Let's have a look here. It may take a while to get it up and running. It's got nothing. <laughs> well, it retained the XL engine, though. Good thing we took that rack. So, uh, let's repair it. How much ammo did this thing... Sensors tracker, really? I guess so. If you want to use the Rack 20, you want to be engaging from range. As best you can. It had two Rack 20 double ammos, which is how much per ton? 12 shots per ton, which is really nothing. But then again, if you're using a rotary Rack 20... It shouldn't take much more than that to strip your enemy of what they had. Okay. Fire control system, ballistic. Minus one recoil. I think we have something better than that. Solaris cage. Which we could probably strip them something better in. Regular sensors are in there. Magna laser. Because I think, if I'm not mistaken... So there's the Rack 20. We also have a Rack 10. Now, I don't think I've got any Rack. No, we've only got AC 10. Isn't there, isn't there, a, here we go. Ultra 20 ammo. We don't have any Rack 20 ammo. We have Ultra 20 ammo, but... Okay, so we're definitely going to have to, uh... I'm going to save this guy. Um, so we do need to repair him. Let's max up the armor. I don't even know if we can. I don't think we can max out the armor because with 17... Oh, we got the Protect Double Heatsink Kit too. Let's just go back. Okay. Uh, let's refit. We have to keep this guy. Can't not keep him. So we're going to have to find some rack ammo. So let's uh, repair all. Leave it at that. Confirm. We'll get this guy repairing. If we can find a Clan XL engine to put in here, I probably will. But I'll leave everything else the way it is. Once it gets fixed, I'll put it in storage. Um, yeah. But we have to... K <laughs> we definitely need to get this guy going. I mean, I guess we could... It doesn't have to be this mech. Right? With the rotary 20, it could be anything, and we could just call it a Clint Eastwood. But this is the 40 ton Clint. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Let's just fix it and put it in storage. All right, I'm going to leave the episode there, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. We're going to jump systems. I'm going to try and find a three skull planet someplace that's relatively close by. We're going to jump over. I'm going to sell some stuff to make our financial report. We did spend a little bit to uh, get that Clint Eastwood up and running. Let's manage our tasks a little better here. Let's get the Thunderbolt up to the top so we can keep that repairing. Centurion, and then these guys. So, what's that going to be? Uh, if we go this route, that'll be 4, 5, 12 days total for all those stuff to come back. So if we can find something 12 days away, that's perfect. Got 5 days for financial reports, so at the beginning of next month, everything will be back. 
Okay, cool. All right, ending the episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.